Imagine the chance to see the orrery operate. Conservator Dereneth is preparing Queen Irene as we speak. We should really head in there and get started. The ratification ceremony isn't going to perform itself after all. And from what I understand, Conservator Dareneth wanted to speak with you personally. Free around you now. Look for the Bosmore sitting in scenic places, but they will not move without feeling. Hold. We've observed your travels through Grotwood and have need of your particular talents. State your destination. Tell me. Probably the best friend I have. If the vestige is going, I'm going too. Yes, I see. And you are the most qualified. Why? Is it your superior knowledge of Cold Harbor? Your expertise in dealing with Daedric entities? Or is it simply the unrequited puppy love you feel for that shirtless mammoth? The time has come for another foray into Oblivion Vestige. We have one last ally in need of rescue. Indeed, Abnathan and I have been meditating, scrying and poring over Menemarko's notes. And at long last, we've discovered the location of the Halls of Torment. Our friend has suffered unimaginable and unending torment for nearly two years, far longer than any mortal man should endure. But Saisahan is something more than mortal man. He's a descendant of Leki, the Yokudan sword saint. I've seen it. We have been able to determine the precise area of the halls where Sai is being held. This is why we were so long about the task. I shall open a portal for you. 
Lyra and Abner have both agreed to accompany you, but I fear their mutual enmity will complicate your task. Speak with them and hear what they offer, but you must choose one or the other. What's wrong? What did Varen say? Then your choice is clear. I've known Sai Sahan longer than anyone. I should be the one to go. It's your decision. Just know that I'd give my life for you or for Sai. Would Tharn do the same? You look perplexed. What inscrutable riddles is Varen spouting now? Did he? What surprisingly good advice. Titanborn and I are more likely to kill each other than we are to help. The choice is yours. But I recommend choosing brains over brawn. I have valuable knowledge of the Daedra, and don't forget, I'm the mage. A very wise decision. One you won't regret, trust me. Shall we go? We've a Red Guard Swordmaster to rescue. Go with Amna. Save Sai Sahan from the halls of torment. It looks like me. What in Where damnation is, is going on here? Tell me or I'll gut you like a fish with your own sword. them to ribbons. How touching. Your friends are here to save you. Pity they arrived too late. It's time for your next round of torture. You'll enjoy this one. Well, that was unnerving. Can't say that I've ever had to kill a version of myself before, but I must say, even as an evil doppelganger, I'm a very capable opponent. They were a legendary group of Red Guard swordmasters, wiped out in the first era by the Yokudan Emperor Hera. Sahan spent years trying to resurrect their ancient traditions, but failed utterly. He considered it his greatest failure. The torturers here are using Sahan's memories and darkest fears against him in an attempt to break his will. He and I were never close. In truth, I enjoyed mocking him. I had no idea how deeply it affected him. Interesting. 
Oh, please, we're adults, aren't we? The day I start considering people's feelings before speaking my mind is the day my efficacy as a politician comes to an end. When that day comes, just kill me outright, I beg of you. We appear to have some unwanted visitors in the halls of torment. Let's make them feel welcome. friend always had the opportunity to free himself. All he needs to do is reveal the location of the Amulet of Kings, and you can all be on your merry way. of King! She seems to be drawing power from those stones. Destroy them quickly. To the side! Move now! From the side!
You'll be safe here, my love. Once again, come my friend. Time for your next. Well, well, well. Wasn't that a charming little scene? I can't wait to mock, to tell Titanborn all about it. Are you as blind as your vagabond emperor? The first room was about Sahan's failures. This room is obviously an attempt to leverage his subconscious desires. So. Our Red Guard friend has a secret crush on the half-giant. A revolt. Please. Titanborn has all the emotional depth of a frost atronach. But who knew Sahan was that sentimental? Then again, he did resist her charms. Good thing, too. That truly would have been a farewell kiss. I can only assume she's Sahan's personal torturer. I have a sneaking suspicion we'll be meeting her again very soon. Come, let's keep moving. We don't get many visitors in the Halls of Torment, but there's always room for a few more permanent residents. <laughs> Of kings. Where is the Amulet of Kings? This can all be over if you just tell me. You can finally rest. You'd like that, wouldn't you, Sai? Have I been here two years? Or two thousand years? I, I can no longer tell. But I will never break. Never! Trusted you. Failed me, Sai. Why didn't you protect me? I should have never trusted you. Failed me, Sai. Why didn't you protect me? I should have. Never trusted you. Who dares to defy the Duchess of Anguish? I will tear out your heart and make you feast upon it. 
What death do you prefer, mortal? Slow and painful or quick and painful? I think I'll kill you quickly, then resurrect you and kill you slowly. An eternity of agony. It will be glorious. Size in pain releases bonds quickly. I do not know you. Why are you here? The Emperor? He lives? This day is filled with wonders. They tortured me for many months, years perhaps, but I did not break my vow. The amulet is hidden and safe. My strength is returning. Lead on. You have done it, Vestige. Bring him through the portal quickly. Sizahan lives. You've outdone yourself, Vestige. The minds of some men can endure hardships far greater than anything that Daedra can concoct. The forces of loyalty, honor, and friendship are powerful indeed. We must recover the Amulet of Kings, but only when Sizahan has had time to recover. He is a man of great strength, but he will still need to rest after such an ordeal. Sai locked the amulet away in the ruins of San Crator and entrusted the key to one of his close associates. But he can tell you himself. Speak with him. He's eager to meet his liberator. I'll contact you when we're ready to move forward. I owe you my life. My lord calls you Vestige. A strange name. Is a true stranger still. My people say that bravery and honor are the hallmarks of a great soul. Yet you have both of those things in great measure. I had begun to think that honor was a relic of the past. You give me hope. I cannot say. Physically, I am unharmed. But mentally, I feel a darkness in my heart. A weight on my soul. I do not know how long this emptiness will remain. I hid the amulet in a sacred catacomb protected by magical wards. The means of lifting these wards are in the keeping of my old mentor, Kasura. As soon as I am able, we must meet with her. I will try to rest, but I am a warrior. We cannot sit still for very long. <coughs> and I should certainly bathe before we meet with Kasura. I am unpleasantly fragrant. And if she happened to be downwind of me, well, I would never hear the end of it. The path ahead of us is a dark one, but it pleases me to know that I shall walk the path with friends. May we all rest a little easier tonight. I know I shall.
There you are. Come. We must talk. It is time, Vestige. Sai Sahan's strength has returned. You must accompany him to his ancestral home in the Valley of Blades. An ancient trading hub high in the mountains of Hammerfell, a place I thought lost to the ravages of time. Sai Sahan entrusted the key to Sankator to one of his mentors there. It must be retrieved. Come quickly. Manimarco is undoubtedly conducting his own search for the Amulet of Kings. We must not allow him to get there first. Where are they? We can find room. Tell me. You've observed your travels through Grotwood and have need of your particular talents. Preposterous. I'm an old Mary Viceregal, an assistant to Prince Naaman himself. Why am I barred from the ceremony? The orrery hasn't been activated in a millennia. It might work splendidly, yes. Or it might explode. But I'll speak with Darren if you insist on being present. I... Upon consideration, I suppose I could wait by the door. To call for help, should anything go wrong. Little brother, you shouldn't be here for this. Darren hath warned us of the dangers. I won't turn my back on family. My place is in your shadow, as it has always been. I know this can't be easy for you. On the contrary, today the Dominion shall see why a High Elf is fit to lead all of Tamriel. I used to despise your certainty, but today it's reassuring, oddly enough. Apology accepted. <laughs> I'll make sure everyone clears out, as you requested. But you don't need to be here, your highness. I used to sneak in here as a child and climb through the orrery's rungs. Do you think I'd pass up on the chance to see what it actually does? But have no fear. I want you at the outer door. Thank you, your majesty. I won't let you down. You never do.
Strange to see you after South Point. Not bad, just strange. But no matter. I can hardly believe we're about to breathe some life into this old girl. And before you ask, yes, I'm speaking of the orrery. Almost. You recovered the pieces needed for the orrery's activation, so it's only fair you're here to put them in place. So, I should be the one to ask. Are you ready? Good. The first thing you'll need is to take up Rachin's mantle. A god's hands move the orrery, goes the translation. But that's a load of boar slop. You simply need to be in three places at once. Rachin's mantle should allow for that. Oh, you'll be all right. That overly earnest fellow from the Mage's Guild, Braylor, was it? He assured me you'd be safe if you wore it for no longer than 90 minutes. Or was it nine? No matter. The ceremony will take five minutes. Maybe six. Approach the pillars beyond the orrery itself. You must activate each in turn while keeping one thought in mind. When you wear Rachin's mantle, you'll never be held in place. From what I understand, it should do the rest. So, this pile of moss and rubble determines the next emperor? The orrery is ancient. Show some respect. That's it! It's working! It's actually working! Here, take hold of the heart of a numeral. Place it in the pillar next to our royal observers. That should do it! Awaken the orrery, whatever that truly means, but have no fear. This contrivance allows me to manipulate its energies. This means I can keep Queen Irene safe when she steps inside. Now go, place the heart of a numeral. Let's see what all the fuss is about. the alien death trap will tell us if we have an emperor in our midst. Truly a momentous day. Naaman, now is not the time. Iren, there's always time to protect you from yourself. For how could I let you risk your life in this contraption without testing it first? Yes. Mantle. You'll never be held in place. It's incredible. I can see the white gold tower. So oh. oh. you tripped me, sister. It's your fault. Barmin, all of you. I'll kill you all. Why? What? No, I... Why would Naaman do this? I made him a part of what we were building. Tried to show him this is about more than just our people. I would have all of Tamriel be our people. What the legend says. It revealed the person within. As it will do to me. Do you think I have a choice in this? 
I will enter the orrery as I swore to the people of the Old Mary Dominion. I must learn whether I'm fit to lead them. And if I'm not, if I'm changed as my brother was, I can't become a danger to the people I've sworn to lead. Do you understand me? I must not delay. I'm... myself, aren't I? A dominion of peace. The fair and just rule of Tamriel, beneath an old Mary banner. A future I hope to build. And you, standing at my side. Come, help me build the future. I don't intend to tell anyone what my brother did. As far as... We heard sounds of battle. What happened? There was an accident. My brother gave his life to protect us. He died a hero. I... I don't... I will soon go to Marlborough. Vice Reeve Peladil, I want you to travel ahead with my brother's body. You will make the funeral arrangements. Yes. Yes, Your Majesty. I understand. Spare no expense for his funeral. All in the Dominion are welcome. All may pay their respects to a hero. At once, Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> 